What's up, y'all? Just as we expected, once the lockout ended, there's a lot of moves. We left off our last video talking about Carlos Rodon. Today, we're going to get right into it and review and grade every single trade and signing that's happened over the next couple days. We'll start off with Clayton Kershaw re-signing on a one-year deal. Uh, great. I, you don't really want to see him anywhere else. He should be a Dodger for life. I give this trade an A+, plus, signing an A+, plus because he's really an underrated pitcher when he is healthy. Um, and overall, yeah, the Dodgers needed to keep him, I think, because they're trying to keep that uh, rotation at the top of the league. And they did um, they did lose Max Scherzer. So smart of them to re-sign Kershaw. Then you have the Cubs signing Angleton Simmons. Uh, cool. Um, where the, I'm not really sure the Cubs' direction. They signed Marcus Stroman, and Marcus Stroman is a good ground ball uh, pitcher. So now you bring in Simmons, who's one of the best defensive shortstops of all time, pretty much. Uh, cool. It's a one-year deal. I'd give this an, a B plus, I'd say. Doesn't really move the needle much. Next, the Blue Jays sign Andrew Velasquez, lefty reliever. Um, high upside, I guess. So I'll give this trade a B. Uh, the signing a B. Uh, national, sign, national sign Steve Ciszek. Ciszek, uh, whatever. He throws underarm. Cool. Um, B, I guess. And then we got our first like, trade here. So the Rangers acquire Mitch Garver for Isaiah kiner Falefa. I'm going to go out right now and say the, te um, the Texas Rangers win this trade. Uh, Mitch Garver last year had an OPS of 139 and an OPS, sorry, an OPS plus of 139, 875 OPS, and he was great in 2019. He had a bad 60 games. Kind of relief as a good player. Uh, he has won a gold glove before, but he's not really pitching in that much on the offensive side. He had an 85 OPS plus last year and a, and a 670 uh, OPS overall. And, I mean, he's won a gold glove. He's good at defense. So, um, Texas Rangers win that trade up big time. Uh, next, we got the Blue Jays signing Yusei Kikuchi. I've thought about this trade a lot as a Jays fan. Um, all right, I'll give the Rangers an A for that trade. And I'll give the Twins a B, B minus. And then, I mean, they turned Isaiah kiner falefa into something else that we'll talk about later. Uh, Yusei Kikuchi to the Blue Jays. Um, a lot of talk. So if you look at his uh, baseball savant page, it's not good. Everything's blue. It's He's not doing great. Yet, he did show potential in the first half last year. He made an all-star game, which is kind of crazy. He had like about like a three and a half year, right? Made the all-star game as the only Mariners representative. Really struggled in the second half. Three-year deal, he's similar to like uh, Steven Matz and Robbie Ray with his pitches and lefties like that. So maybe um, the Blue Jays pitching coach can work his magic again. Overall, I like the signing B plus to A minus, I think. Uh, Angels re-signed Kurt Suzuki. I'm going to give that a C because he really should be a backup catcher. If you are the Angels and your team that wants to go to the playoffs this year, you need to go to the playoffs this year. You can't have Kurt Suzuki behind the plate. Uh, next, we've got another trade. The Mets acquire Chris Bassett uh, and the Athletics acquire JT Jin and Al Adam Aller. Um, for the Mets right now, this, I'm going to give this an A. Uh, Bassett is legit. Um, I think he had, like, he had a low three ERA last year. Put him beside, Put him behind Scherzer and DeGrom. Uh, with Carrasco and Tyron Walker after that. That's a top, top, top rotation in baseball. And JT Jin and Adam Aller, there's not much info on them. These guys don't really seem like big, high-level quality prospects that you had to give up. So I'm going to give that trade an A for the Mets, and this means Oakland's fire sale is on. So C for the C for Oakland. Uh, the White Sox signed Joe Kelly to a two-year contract. I'm going to give this a B plus. Uh, Kelly's a pretty good bullpen pitcher, pretty reliable. And um, you build on one of your strongest suits, which is your bullpen. And now maybe you feel a little bit more um, open to trading Craig Kimbrell. I doubt he's back with the White Sox because he was really not good with the White Sox. But he was like prime Craig Kimbrell on the Cubs. So maybe you fill a spot like in right field or second base when you trade uh, trade Kimbrell. Colorado Rockies signed Jose Iglesias. He was really good with the Orioles in 2020. Um, okay, I mean, I don't like B, sure. Uh, what what is the Rockies direction? We're really not sure. I mean, I guess this means that Trevor Story's not coming back. Um, although I don't think Jose Iglesias is a starting level shortstop in the MLB, anyways. Do you know what I mean, though? Uh, the White Sox sign Josh Harrison to a one year contract. Uh, overall, I like that move. Um, he can play some second. He can play some outfield. He can play everywhere. Uh, yeah, I, I like that move. I'll give that a minus. Uh, the Yan not the Yankees. Sorry, the Orioles sign Robinson Chirinos. B. We'll move on. Astro sign Nico Goodrum. Uh, he's a below average bat, but he can steal some bases. He can, I think he can switch hit. I'm really not sure. Mid Nico Goodrum, I'll give it a B. 
Uh, the Cleveland Guardians signed Luke Maley, um, whatever, uh, B minus. Uh, the Rockies signed Alex Colomay to a one-year contract. I'm going to give that an F because, well, it's, it's an F for Colomay. It probably means Colomay's career is over. Um, but for the Rockies, sure, you got a bullpen pitcher who was all right in 2020, but I think I think this is it for Colomay. No one, no bullpen pitcher does well. No pitcher in general does well in, in Coors Field. Philly signed Juris Familia. All right, I'll give that a B. Uh, Red Sox signed Matt Strom. I like Matt Strom. I'll give that a, uh, a B plus. The, the Red Sox need some bullpen pitching to contend, to keep contending this year. So I like that move. Uh, Dodgers signed Hanser Alberto. Uh, cool, B, kind of come off the bench. The Phillies signed Ejir Ejianza. He was pretty good for the, he was, he was actually really good for the Braves last year when they, when they needed to fill in. They were missing so many players. He held it down. I'll give that an A minus for the Nationals. Um, the Mets signed Adam Otto, Adam Ottavino. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure about this deal because we've seen kind of two different Adam, Adam Ottavinos. Uh, he's disgusting when he's on that slider is working. And then he's also has time where he struggles with his control. So I'll give it a B. Uh, now we have one of the bigger trades. The twins acquire Sonny Gray and Francis, P uh, Paguero for Chase Petty. Chase Petty was the 26th overall pick. So, this starts the Reds' fire sale. Look for guys like Luis Castillo to be on the move soon. Uh, Nick Castellanos is already a free agent, but what about like... Ah, Jesse Winker's young. They're probably going to keep him. Uh, they're probably going to keep Votto as well because uh, he's been there forever. So, I mean, there's not that many pieces to even sell in Cincinnati. But uh, Sonny Gray goes to the Twins. The Twins have been very busy during this uh, deadline. We'll talk about another tra another trade they did. And then um, for the Reds, Chase Petty, 26th overall pick this year. Solid prospect. Um... And then the Yankees, the Yankees re kind of re-sign uh, Tim LaCastro. Uh, I like that. I'm going to give that an A+, plus just because he's a New York native and was very hyped about going to the Yankees. He gets another shot with them. Uh, the Cardinals sign Nick Whitgren. He throws kind of funny, I guess. Or maybe that's a Nick Sandlin, who's also a, a Guardians pitcher. Uh, a-. minus. Um, the Brewers re-sign Brad Boxberger. Sure, B, whatever. Now we got two actual moves. So the uh, the Washington Nationals signed Nelson Cruz to a two-year deal. Um, the Nationals say they want to compete. The Nationals traded Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. If you added uh, Nelson Cruz back into that roster, I like it a lot more. But they're going to have a DH because their bench was god-awful last year. So I'm glad that they're going to have a nice DH. Um, I'm a little surprised uh, by this move from, from Cruz. Uh, I don't think Cruz has ever won a World Series. Obviously, he has that infamous play when he's with the Rangers. And the Nationals, as much as they say they want to contend, the Nationals don't have any pitching. They're not going to be a contender this year. So um, I don't think they're even going to be a contender within two years. So I'd expect Nelson Cruz to have his good year, hit 30 to 40 homers. Um, I guess the Nas I'll give the Nationals an A-plus for this move just because they're giving Soto some protection. But um, Cruz is not going to have any protection, so why would they pitch to Cruz? Because that, who's going to be hitting after him? Carter Keboom or something like that? Like For for Cruz, I don't understand this deal. The Nationals aren't going to contend in two years. He pretty much signed here for a couple months, and then he's going to get moved at the deadline like he did last year. He went to Tampa. Um, I'm sure Tampa would have liked to keep him. Kind of weird. Now we get to the biggest trade. As a Blue Jays fan, I hate this one. It's Josh Donaldson going to the Yankees. Donaldson goes to his sixth team in his career Kind of crazy. Um, and overall, I don't know how I'm going to grade this. Off rip, I think the Yankees make out pretty good. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know much about catcher Ben Rortvit. I'm pretty sure he's a solid prospect. Uh, but the overall trade is Josh Donaldson, Isaiah Kiner Falefa uh, to the Yankees for Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela. Gary Sanchez was a weird case last year. He batted 200, he had 23 home runs, 54 RBIs. He was an average hitter with a 99 OPS plus and a 730 OPS. Gio Urshela, on the other hand, was similar. 720 OPS, 96 OPS plus, 14 homers, 49 RBIs. But Gio Urshela in the past couple of years has had has had years where, like, um, oh, I guess I can't find it right now. But I'm not really sure what's up with, uh, okay, here it is. Gio Urshela in 2019 and 2020 had OPS pluses of 133 and 137. So the, the Twins are going to hope to get that Gio Urshela. Gary Sanchez has also had years where like he was, he's was he been a two-time All-Star in 2019. How many home runs did he get? 34 and had an OPS of 841. Uh, Gary Sanchez has been a above-average player his entire career except for 2018 and 2020. Uh, and in 2021, he was 99. So he's basically average. Gary Sanchez is a weird story. 
Uh, but I would compare Gary Sanchez to Mitch Garver. I think Mitch Garver is better than Gary Sanchez. So this is like a whole different trade tree. So the Twins traded um, away Mitch Garver for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And then they sent Isaiah Kiner Falefa to the Yankees for Gary Sanchez. So you kind of, in a way, traded Gary Sanchez for Mitch Garver. It's a whole situation. I don't think the Twins make out uh, very well, considering now you lost Josh Donaldson, you lost uh, Mitch Garver, and you got back Gary Sanchez and Gio Urshela. I don't know. Um, Donaldson's better than Gio Urshela. If you want to look at Donaldson's stats uh, last year, he had OPS plus of 127 and 827 OPS. He's 26 homers, 72 RBIs. He's always mashed. Um, even like 2019 with the Braves, he came back and had that crazy season with 37 home runs. And then um, last year, not last year, but 2020 with uh, Minnesota, he was pretty solid. So overall, good for the Yankees. I can, oh, that's going to look weird. Donaldson in a, in a Yankees uniform, he's going to have to shave. There goes the beard, all that. I think this move is going to be good for Gary. Gary's had a lot of pressure on him being the catcher of the New York Yankees. And um, he had a lot of pressure because he almost won rookie of the year, all that stuff. Uh, going to play in a smaller market in Minnesota will be better for him. It's been a long video. I'm going to cut it now. Those have been all the moves. I'm sure more are going to come tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.